All right, hey guys, it's Adrian from asnatomy.com. Welcome to the quick tip sessions in ZBrush. So today I'm, I'm quickly going to show you guys the magic measurements. First starts with Robert Beverly Hale and then modified and improved by Andrew Carls. So I'm just going to grab the, we, we're just going to use these, um, the transport unit in ZBrush. I'm, I'm sure you, you guys have seen this before to basically measure our our cranium so from the top of our skull to the nose like to to the bottom of the nasal opening so that's going to be our cranium and then i'm, I'm just going to set the 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 calibration um, size to one and then just rename that to just cranium so we can see it properly so if I drag the transpose line, you can see there on top, it just says one cranium and then it's going to be easier for us. So from the bottom of the nasal opening to the sternal notch, that should be one cranium. If it's not, just grab your, your model and just move it over there. As, as you see, I'm grabbing the move, um, the, the move topological brush. And then just moving it up a tad just confirming these proportions with you guys so once i have that then i'm gonna grab my line again just confirming you are one cranium and then from and then the clavicle also should be one cranium and then the entire shoulder girdle is one cranium or so so if it's not again just grab your move topological brush just make sure that you have that just moving that around you see i'm just confirming also with the transpose line just making sure that that's that's in place i'm just gonna drag it back by the scapula and then um, grab my transpose line again, one cranium, perfect. So again, from the top of the sternum notch to the to the end of the sternum, probably by the xiphoid process, one cranium, that's correct. And then from the from the end of the rib cage, from the xiphoid process, that should be one cranium or so. So we're done with the rib cage, perfect. And then from from that point of the rib cage to to the anterior superior iliac spine where the sartorius and the tensor fascia latter attaches one cranium and then from from the axis to the great greater trochanter one cranium and then the the femur you, sh you should get three and um, to where it meets with the tibia and then also over the from the tibia you you should get um two and a half and that's that and then if you want to do the arms also you should get um one two two of them in the humerus and then two in the um radius and owner thank you guys uh, for your time if you're new to the channel don't forget to like share and subscribe see you guys in the next one